The protests turned deadly in the southern Peruvian city of Andahuaylas. Five teenagers were among those killed by firearms in clashes with police. The deaths have inflamed other protests across the country, marked by a week of widespread vandalism and looting. Demonstrators took control of the airport in Peru's second largest city, Arequipa, and airlines have cancelled flights there as well as to Cusco, Peru's tourism capital. In Lima, protesters fought running battles with riot police overnight. Demonstrations in support of ousted President Pedro Castillo have spread from here in downtown Lima, in the Plaza San Martin, to cities and towns across the country, and they show no signs of abating. Protesters support Castillo, who was ousted last week after attempting to shutter Congress and rule by decree to avoid an impeachment vote. He was swiftly replaced by Vice President Dina Boluarte, who on Monday pledged to hold early elections in 2024. But that doesn't satisfy the protesters. First of all, we do not recognize Dina Boluarte. She is a coup leader. To this day, our president is Pedro Castillo. Now we are demanding the reinstatement of our president, Castillo. Many came from far away to show their indignation. He has been unjustly removed and we will not allow it. That is why all the comrades who have come from different places are here. The use of firearms by police for social protests is prohibited and has only made the situation worse. It had been ordered that the police should re-establish order to the people, their life and property, but without using lethal weapons. Regrettably, we know deaths took place and that the attorney's office should investigate the circumstances. But the new government has yet to attempt dialogue with the demonstrators, who demand the closure of Congress. In the end, there is no middle ground. What we have is a polarisation between two blocks of people, some who are not necessarily with Castillo, but appear as if they were with Castillo because they oppose the Congress. And as the protests continue, that gap appears to widen. Dan Collins, CGTN, Lima.